Hello. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to simulate your project in in this uh, in your like Windows environment. At least for me, I'm using Windows 7. That's where my Codis uh, development tool is installed. So I'll be showing how we can simulate this, essentially run our project within Windows without putting it onto a display for testing. So this is going to be very useful if you want to uh, just quickly test your project. Um, in this case, I'm doing this right after we added buttons to switch pages. So we may want to go ahead and say, okay, you know, we added some buttons, uh, this one to go to screen two, and this one to move back to screen one. So maybe we want to test to make sure this is actually working. So just to quickly test it, we can simulate the project in our computer. Um, we could also build and load the project to the displays and test it on the displays, which I'll go over in the next video. Um, but sometimes that can be a little bit longer and, um, or other times you may not have a display available for testing. So you'd just want to build and test your project, uh, right in windows here and before putting it on a display. So, um, what we're going to do to do this is once we have our project completed. So at the end of the last video, I was able to build this successfully. You know, we have some CAN buses hooked up here, which we've gone over. So now let's say we want to just test this, this buttons. So we're going to come to the online menu here and we're going to scroll down here to simulation and click that. So now if we come back to online, you'll see simulation is checked. Um, and we can also see down here, there's a red box that says simulation. So this tells us we are in simulation mode. So it will build and deploy this application onto our development machine. So, you know, again, in my case, I'm using Windows 7, but I believe it should work uh, with anything Codasys supports. So, you know, if you're using Windows 10 or something or Linux, maybe. Um, okay, so after we are in simulation mode, what we're going to do is come online here and say log in. And what this tells us is we can see here as well, there's a, a Codasys gateway running. And so essentially the Codasys runtime is running on our computer right now. And this is telling us that this application is not, it's not found on our computer. Do we want to essentially build and download it to our computer for it to run? And the answer is yes. So we're going to get this same exact message when we install an application on our displays as well. So it actually the, the process is very, very similar. So we'll see here it's building and deploying it to our computer. So it tells us some information about the code and the memory use, warnings, errors, you know, here are some messages that we get from the build. So we can click that and that is, so right now it's, it's actually downloaded and on our computer and you'll notice here, you know, we're still in simulation, but it says stop. So we're going to start it in a second, but you know, we're, we're not really connected to a device. The CAN bus right now is obviously not running because it's connected or it's just running in simulation mode on my computer. So I have no CAN bus connected. So we get these air warnings by CAN bus essentially saying it can't connect to the bus that's expected. Okay. So once we're in this mode, we can come, I actually don't think there's a thing here on online, but you'll notice here, if we scroll over this, this says log out and to the right of this, there's a start. So right now it's stopped and we want to start it. So we're going to click that and our visualization pops up here and it should again start for whatever where in your uh, target manager 
we told it our start visualization was screen one. So it's going to start on this and you'll see it's now says it's running. And if we click the page two button, it goes to our screen two. And if we click page one, it goes back to screen one. I guess we named it a little <laughs> poorly, but uh, but yeah, so our we can tell right now our buttons are working and our project is running in simulation mode. So if we had any code in our PLC PRG program, we could see that code, you know, obviously our, our CAN bus and other IO will not work because it's just running on our computer. But this mode is very helpful if you just want to test your visualizations out, also test like if you're doing some calculations on on or doing some code here that doesn't that is not dependent on variables from the can bus or is not dependent on io or anything like that on the display this will your code will work and run and you can see that it's working so uh there we go so once we're done we can hit stop so you'll notice too uh we can't when you're in this mode you can't change anything. And this is going to be the same for our displays. So, you know, when you're testing it, when it's running, you can't change any code, for instance. Like if I wanted to add code here, I can't type. And that's because it's running. So we need to stop before we're able to change anything. So now we'll notice it's, it's stopped, so it's no longer running. And then we can click this log out or go online log out. They're both the same. So, you know, first we did log in, but we could have also clicked this log in here. But now we're able to change our, our project again. And, you know, we could, after we change it, go back, uh, go back online, log in and run it again to, to see that our changes took effect. Okay, so that's how you will would simulate your project in your Windows development environment before putting it on the displays. Thanks.